Here I'll run you through an example of how to use the Incodox Landed Cost Calculator to make it quick and easy to understand the landed costs, sale pricing and profit amounts. In this example I'll use a supplier's Proformer invoice for a 20 foot container of bollards shipped from China to Australia. Before using a landed cost calculator, make sure that you understand all of the seller's product details, pricing and packaging details, the international transportation costs, local customs clearance and handling and logistics fees, foreign exchange rates, and the applicable import duty and tax rates that are payable in the country of import. Once known, you can enter all of the information to calculate your landed costs and sell pricing. When I have all of the details confirmed, I'm ready to enter the information into the calculator. At the top section, I enter the shipment details. Description, country of origin, China, country of destination, Australia. You'll note that the tax will automatically default to 10% GST tax. Then I select the INCO term, FOB, the product buy currency in US dollars. The final local currency will automatically default to AUD and note that the live exchange rate will automatically apply between USD and AUD. International freight, this is the amount charged for the sea freight from port to port. In this case, I know the amount in AUD is $1,900. Local import costs, this is the total of all of the charges incurred when the container is unloaded in Australia, including port handling charges, customs clearance fees, local trucking delivery, etc. In the table below is where I enter all of the product details from the supplier's quote or proforma invoice. If I have already created my product codes, I can click to select them from my list of products to pre-fill the information. Note that the cubic meters per unit is pre-selected by default. That means that all of the additional freight and import costs will be split over the different products based on each product's cubic meter volume per unit. If I wanted to split up the additional freight cost by weight, I can select the per weight unit option. I'll enter the quantity of the first product. Duty rate. Due to the China-Australia Free Trade Agreement, I know that the import duty rate is 0%. Otherwise, I could enter a percentage for import duty rates here. Then I can keep adding new product lines as needed. Note that the totals will show at the bottom of this table. When I'm finished adding all information, click calculate, then my landed costs will show in the second table below. In the second table, it will give me my landed cost per product, along with a breakdown of all of the additional costs per product unit. In this column, I can see the landed cost of each item in my local currency, line by line. On the left, I can see that the buy price of my first bollard is $15.85 USD from the seller. But by the time the currency is converted and all of the additional shipping and import costs are added, I can see the landed cost of this bollard through to my door is $28.51 AUD. Note that the totals will also show at the bottom of this table. If I'm going to on-sell these products in the market, I can move down to the third table to calculate my sell pricing and profit figures. Note that I have three options to set a sell price. I can click to enter a margin percentage for each product. I can click to enter a markup percentage for each product. Or I can click to type in a specific sell price for each product. This is very flexible and helpful when wanting to enter different margin or markup amounts to each product so that I can check figures and decide on my sell pricing for each product. Let's say that I want to add a 15% margin to the two bollard products. 
and I want to add a 22% margin to the accessories. On the left, I can see my landed cost per item. Then I can see the sell pricing to the right. I can also understand the profit per unit and the total profit figures per product. It's very flexible and easy to change the sell pricing of any product so that I can see the live profit figures and make decisions on my sell pricing. Note that the totals will show at the bottom of this table. So looking at all of the figures across the three tables, I can view all of the important information needed. At the first table, I can see the total costs, weight and cubic size from the supplier. At the second table, I can see the landed cost per item and the total landed cost to import these products to my door. At the third table, I can see the sold pricing and profit figures per unit and as totals. So when finished, I just click save. Then I can click to download the PDF calculations into a document. 